Hello and welcome back to unwrapping this um, M9, isn't it? So let's get back into it. Um, quickly, I need to turn on my Greencast keys, and we're all good to go. All right, just tricking all right, where we left off. Okay, so basically, there's this big ass mess down here we need to clear up. So. I hit, I hit um, full stop or period on my numpad to um, pretty much zoom in when I select something like that takes me to a selection um, and I make sure I'm on this screen before I do it because if I do it over here it zooms in, zooms in uh, on that side so just in case you was getting a bit confused with the last tutorial uh, I thought I should put that out there right so basically uh, the loop cut here and here. Uh, we can add some of that there as well. Alright, we got loop going around there. And how far do you go down? There you go all the way down there. Okay, we haven't done it on the other side. Well, we have. I mean, on that side on the inside of it. We actually have done it on the inside, so um have a look over here as well. What's going on around here? Okay. So you kind of want in a cut along here I'm guessing by the looks of it. Yep. And where are these? Inside, okay. Just basically look at that. And, and got some issues going down on down here. Um, okay. I'm just no. Actually, that isn't even worth bothering about. But yeah. Um, again, basically select them. Then I'm going to select these as well. Like so. Right, that's a bit more clean. Um okay we're gonna need to add man, what's going on up here? Oh okay. Sight from the top. Um we're basically gonna need to add a loop cut down here by the looks of it. There you go. Yep, okay, that's looking a lot better. Okay, we've got some green stuff over here as well, so let me trick on this. Okay, um, that's fine. Um, and we've probably got one on the other side that isn't showing up, so I'm just going over here and selecting it anyway. Let's mark that. And um can select the edge around here. Do the same on the other side. Like so. Mark the same. Mm. I'm gonna add a mark down here as well. And on the other side, like so. Okay. So basically that just makes it a lot more smaller and it compacts it down a bit. Um, okay, this stuff here looks like it can be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, do okay. Um Basically, I'm going to add a loop cut here. Um, add one around here. One around there, like so. Clean that up a little bit more, didn't it? Okay, I'm going to add a loop cut along here as well. 
mark that up. Basically go and add a loop cut here to de disconnect that. Um get that loop cut from here. Uh, we want this corner here. And actually no, you know what? I'm gonna select from Here to here. Like so, mark that up. Mark this in up as well. Right. Okay, we've got some stuff going on down here as well. Have a look at this. Right. Gonna mark that. Okay, and go down here. Like so. Brilliant. Uh, we've got some funky sap going along here as well. So track this out. Uh, Alright, gonna select this and go along here like so. And basically come up, come up here. Go into there like so. Mark that. And mark this up. Okay. Oh. Going to select the bottom right here. I'm just gonna select this area. We just mark that and boom. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're having issues around here as well. Like so. Um, go and try and select this and that didn't help. Okay, well, you can just cut the bottom of that off. But no, it doesn't look like it at all. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fix that.
Hmm. Odd. Yeah. I've got this sap up here as well. Getting a bit crazy. We don't need these faces back here, we can actually get rid of them. Didn't see them earlier. That's a bit better. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with done wrap. There are some places that could be a bit better. Definitely getting rid of this issue. Um, there's some around here as well. Okay. Okay, it kind of messed up a little bit in there. Last time I tried to put the same round here, so I'm clearing that up. Right. Looking alright for me. Um, just getting around and making sure that it's the best it can be. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do now is select the thing, hold um, A and P. Hit P, let's keep tapping through it till you find. Sometimes it will change um, around a lot more and you can get a better, um, you know, the UV pack will be a lot better. So basically I'm going to just, um, move. Actually, I'm not going to move that. Um, what I will do is 
I do want to select all of this. So. Um, there we go. All right. Just hit L on that, and I'm going to rotate that 180, and um, just go that minus one. Oh, minus. Scale minus one. Okay, two. Oh, what's going on there? Oh. Okay, I'm going to scale this long and said minus one. X. Said. Y. Okay, Y. There we go. Just scale that long to Y by minus one. And now. These two are actually facing the same way. And we could actually, if we wanted to, we could just go, alright, well, it's the same thing. We can just check that one got a bit more on it. Uh, so, what is that? What's going on here? Right. Okay, let's do to that and that. Um, Okay, I'm going to actually select this loop and this as well. Mark that. No, okay. Alright. So basically, I'm going to yeah, go on face mode, select this, scale minus one, Z, Y. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to rotate that a little bit to line it up. Like so. I'll do the same thing for this one. Hey, oh, right. hey, oh, what the... Alright, come off it. Right about there. Should be good. Okay. Gonna select these. Uh, look on, let me you. Gonna do a loop selection along there. De deselect the bottom ones here. Or that there. Oh. Just gonna move this down. Gonna deselect this. Gonna move them all down. And then actually go on vertex mode. Select these. Alt M. No, you can't merge them. Okay. Hmm. Move that out for a sec, and now hit Alt M, emerge to last. No, you're still going to play around. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right, I know how to fix this now. All right, if we go on to loop selection, and we select this as well, and just cut that off. All right, wow. All right, that's looking a lot better. Not amazingly much, but it's looking a bit better. Um, so I'm going to merge these now. And no, uh, it's still not having any of it. Right. So, okay. Now I'm going to go into face mode, select this, um, scale minus one, Z, Y. Okay. okay. Scale minus one. X, there we go. All right, going to get both of them. Move them off. And going to get this and this. As these are the same parts. Move them off. Going to turn off snapping for now. Um, all right. So basically, I'm going. 
I'm um, going to line these up. Um, going to select. I'm going to actually select these along here. Like so, hit W. Is it a line X? Okay, no, not quite what I wanted. Um, try and deselect these ones over here. Are you not having that? Okay. Try and do it on edge mode. You still selected over there. Right. So I'm trying to align long X and no, that's all doing that. Um, hmm. That's weird. Yeah, I'll try to do this. Okay, well that's weird. Managed able to do that before. Um so basically I'm gonna go into it. it um face mode and I'm just gonna rotate this basically line it up, make the bottom sh um flat. Well, flat enough anyway. Right. Do the same with this one. Right. I'm happy with them. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is select these, move them off the side, and I'm going to do under UV. I'm going to do pin. Right. So they are now pinned there. Go and select the think and hit um, Alt, no, Control and A, and okay, I'm going to undo that a sec. Just going to select this up. Um, hey, what? You guys are meant to be pinned here, so why are you moving? Okay, control A. Right. Well, I'm um, just only want to fix this up now, so I'm going to actually unpin this stuff. Um, I was actually going to try and clean up a bit more, but I don't know why that wasn't staying in place. I'm pretty sure when I was pinning it before, it was staying in place. So basically, I'm going to just make sure these aren't overlapping. That's fine, like so. Now I'm actually going. You know, actually. I, th I think I know what it does. Um, now I'm going to actually pin these. So now I'm going to hit Control A and P. All right, okay, cool. Okay, so it don't disrupt um, where they are. If that makes sense, it, it will it will repack them, but it won't mess up the other stuff. Um, so I'm going to unpin all of this. I'm going to want to move these up a little bit more. Not much. About that. All right. Ah, damn it. All right. I'm going to pin these again. Quickly. Just saw up um, the top there. That this stuff needs unwrapping a bit more. So basically, what? Um, go on edge mode. Mark that. Um. 
We're going to select that thing, control A and P. Right. Okay, that's better. So now we got this. We can actually um, we can actually make an ID ma um, map out of it now. Um, so basically, I'm going to unpin it stuff because it don't need to be pinned anymore, and I'm going to save this quickly. Like so. Um, so now we can just make a um, a ID ma um, mass mass out of it. Um, so I'm going to pretty much colour the parts that I want to be a separate material or a separate um, yeah material. Uh, like it would have a different texture surface, even though it's going to all be in one UV space. Um, so basically, what we're going to do now is um, pretty much assign materials to the um, other parts. But I will cover that in the next part as well as. Um, we're hopefully going um, baking the, the uh, normal map and the AO there. So, till then, um, I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them below. So, don't forget to uh, thumb, um, thumbs it up if you like it. And um, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. So, um, yeah, see ya.